Hey guys, it's Chef Daxel Robotics. We just got back from Worlds, we set up our field, and so we're gonna show you guys some of our first thoughts for this year's game, full volume. All right, first up is one of our elementary students who'll be competing at the middle school level next year. What are your thoughts on um, this game, full volume? My thoughts are, it can go a lot of this way. There are a lot of game elements, and I think there are lots of ways to be creative and score a lot of points. And I just don't know how it's gonna go. I, mean, I think this game will be pretty interesting since it's the first year they've done uh, like a random zone like that and they've done volumetric scoring. Uh, I think it's just gonna be interesting how people are going to get the cubes from the supply zone. So, yeah. So it seems like there's gonna be a lot of challenges in this year's game. What do you think is the biggest challenge? I think the biggest challenge would be, be get all, all the, the game components out of the random zone because there's a lot in them. You would have to have a pretty fast intake to be able to reach over. And um, my biggest challenge I think is gonna be is the supply zone, like he said, but also getting them into the towers and making them lie flat together instead of them just piling up randomly in there is gonna be a kind of a big challenge. Okay, so everyone's seen the video for full volume. What's something about the field that is different than you thought it was after watching the video and having put it together here at the house? Oh, one thing that is really different in the video, it doesn't look like they spin, but these spin very easily. This top one doesn't spin as easy, but it still spins and this bottom one spins more, so it's gonna be really challenging to get into the red. So another thing in the video is it doesn't show these like really reds coming off them, but whenever they do, they go like that. And so they're gonna move a lot after you push them off. So I think it'd be a good idea to be able to just be able to grab them uh, from their pedestals, because if not, they're gonna roll everywhere. You guys have already been tinkering with some build ideas and some different things for different challenges of the game. What do you have in front of you there? I have a W tank drive design. So you'll have tank treads on this, the or with the chains with pegs. So at the end of the match, since these are tall enough, they'll be able to grip onto this, this one driving it. It'll be able to come up over it. You won't have to use any extra motors to be able to go over. Okay, so one of the things I've been tinkering around, tinkering around with, and you might have seen it on our YouTube, is this little hopper design that can score the squares into the tower. And basically it has like a conveyor belt here with a little piece on the end that kind of holds these up. And then whenever you spin it, they'll go up and over into there. I'm trying to make it so that this one doesn't fall out, but it's kind of just a first concept. So, yeah. What happens when they come out of there? Um, this is pretty interesting, also not said in the game, or in the video, is whenever these come out of here, they, they are counted as part of the supply zone, and a ref or a team member can move them back into the supply zone. So that's pretty interesting. It's kind of like the VRC game, kind of the same concept. All right, so last question. You guys excited about this year's game? Yes, it has a lot of opportunities for really creative bots. Yeah, I'm super excited. I'm hoping to get some pretty good scores, get up there, try to be one of the top teams 